What is up, everybody? 24 Runner Rubber here, and I'm back with another Forza Horizon 3 build. This one's going to be a drift build. I don't know why I keep going like this. Uh, we're going to be doing a drift build of the uh, Nissan 240SX. I believe it's the 1992. It's an S13. You should probably all know that by now because 240 is just a 240. Everyone knows what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll do... Oh, no, no, not that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, wide body it. This wide body is absolutely insane. The only thing I don't like is there's mounts for a chassis mounted wing, but you can't put a giant ass chassis mounted wing on it. I wish you could. That'd be really, really cool. We're going to go ahead, swap the uh, VR38 into it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, upgrade the motor, and get back to you with the power figure. All right, so we are making 1,017 horsepower and 830 foot-pounds of torque. We haven't uh, taken any weight out of it yet, so I'll go ahead and do that now. We'll upgrade the brakes, we'll lower it, we'll, we'll slam it. What would that look like? That looks stupid. All right, sway bars. Roll cage or not? Yeah, roll cage is going to help. Weight reduction. What do we weigh now? 2,600. Well, 2,700. We're closer to that. Uh, no, not race tires. I'll go with street tires because we have the option. We'll put big ass tires in the rear. The fronts look like they're wide enough anyways. So I'm going to leave them. I want to do something crazy with this car. Caleb, which you saw in the... Rock crawler challenge video. He put those on his and he's I think his car's black or purple? I can't remember. Ah, you know how I said I wanted to use these one day? Or actually I, I said that I didn't want to, I didn't think I was ever gonna use these, but I'm gonna do it on this car because I want to do something wild. I'm gonna go ahead and increase them to 18s. Not 19s, 18s. And then I'll work on the body mods. Well, that's the only big one I'm getting. It looks like goddamn Batman. All right, so I'm just gonna put that one on it. And then I'll go ahead and paint it. All right, so I'm thinking this color would be a good color because it kind of matches the wheels. Uh, maybe I'll go a little bit more of a blue. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I was also thinking, maybe even leaving it like a darker blue. Like something like that, maybe? I think that looks pretty good. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure, honestly. Or even like, the navy blue and then like, the pink really comes out. I think that looks pretty clean, other than the wheels. It doesn't really match the wheels. Not too worried about that though. Maybe brighten it up a bit. Uh, yeah, that, I think that's good. Uh, what can we do with the wheels? Oh, it only paints that. That looks really odd. Um, let's do some really weird. Let's do, yeah, let's do that. It looks like goddamn Barney, but I don't care. All right, so let's take a listen to it. That sounds. That sounds really nice. This thing is goddamn loud, holy shit. Oh shit.
Okay, so that was a good first run. I still think the Brat, in terms of how confident I am in drifting in a, in a car, I think the Brat is the benchmark right now. This one's pretty good. Rip. That was a lot better. I'll do like two more runs. So far, I'm really happy with how this car has turned out. I'm really happy. I'm really confident driving this car. I really do like driving this car. I might end up changing the wheels, but I am really confident driving this car. Eighty-two thousand. Almost got my top score. Oh my god, that was a really good run. I I'm happy with that. Like, honestly, if I can get into the eighty thousands, I'm really impressed with that. Overall, this was a great drift build. Other than the wheels, they they look like Barney. I think the color of the car is great. I love that blue. But I definitely need to change the rims. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.